What's good, YouTube? I'm back again with another video. I appreciate the love and the subscribers, man. I'm just being myself. Y'all helping this content grow, man. It means a lot to me. Like I said, man, I'm just being my genuine self. If I can help somebody with a conversation, I'm going to do it, man. Like I said, you could be surprised with a conversation I do for somebody. But yeah, man, from the title of the video, Damage Women. And this is a suggested video from a young brother that sent me a... Uh, email so he actually followed my direction like some of them like some of y'all don't uh i know the ones that you know that got uh things going on like i told y'all y'all gotta send that to me because i don't want y'all personal business out there but he's dealing with a damaged woman and he has it all he has his shit together um he's treating her well and from what i read he also said that she's abusive and she that can mean from verbally or physical too and how to put up with something like that, depending on how emotionally you connected to her, um, you let her know, like, don't, if you, if you won't stop this shit, or if you don't go get help or try to heal, or I'm trying to help you, you got to go. I understand the pussy might be good. I, she might be sucking it from the back. But at the end of the day, it ain't worth getting uh, mentally and physically drained. Because her damages or trauma is not yours and some people you just can't save i know because i don't put up with uh damaged women before and you're gonna have a long fucking history or not history you're gonna just have a long fucking road to go it's gonna always be something she might even she might lie to you damaged people lie a lot they might they might have things that they're addicted to she might be addicted to fucking uh, threesomes, fucking all types of shit, and you're gonna, you're not, you, you're not really knowing what you're walking into, and you don't need nothing like that in your life. And I get you don't want to be by yourself. Not saying you said that, but you don't want to be by yourself. But you gotta think, man. She's gonna drain the shit out of you. And especially if she's putting you down for no apparent reason. You know, it's one thing to get mad at your partner, get aggravated. You know, y'all might need, you know, some air, walk out the house, you know, go sit in your car, take a walk, whatever. But that's one thing. But to just talk crazy to you for no apparent reason, that's called verbal abuse. And men deal with that on a day-to-day -day basis. And some of them don't know how to lead a relationship because they don't want to be by themselves. Or they done been in a relationship so long, they don't want to lead a relationship, so they going to end up cheating on their partner. But my point is, a damaged woman, you need to let her go. Especially if you're trying everything you can to help her out. If she's meant for you and you tell her these things like, hey, if you don't stop doing this shit, you got to go. And she walks out that door, let her walk out the door. It's going to hurt, especially if you got, you know, emotional attachment. It's nothing wrong with, you know, what you did. You know, some people you just can't fix. I'm not saying it's going to be easy, but trust me. It's going to feel a lot better when you ain't dealing with that shit long down the road or you done found out about fucking Tyrone or fucking something you just don't know about because she's so fucked up she ain't told you shit. And that sounds like she's going to end up cheating on you in the long run because she sounds like she's control trying to control the relationship like she's the man. You wear the pants, bro. I'm not saying you got to control her because nobody wants, you know, you can't control anybody, but she don't respect you. If she could talk to you crazy like that, and keep doing it for no apparent reason, and especially if she's just mad and just won't, won't cool off, you know, you need to let her go. You need to let her go. Because she, she's going to cause problems along down the road. She might take your money. And think about it. What if y'all get into a heated uh, argument and you she gave her the car keys and she done took your whip and you stuck at the carnival by yourself, pissed off? I done dealt with that shit before. It ain't worth that, man. Damaged women need to motherfucking heal before y'all get in a relationship. Because damaged women do a lot of toxic shit to themselves. They would go have sex with women. We ain't just talking about sex, but they would have sex. They would sell themselves. They would uh maybe end up with a bat with a fucking miscellaneous kid. They would do a whole bunch of shit just so they can heal and not feel what they feel. Y'all need to fucking heal properly. Pray to God. 
And y'all can take this video to yourself as a woman if you want to. Y'all need to be by yourself. Having sex with multiple men is not going to fix it. All y'all doing is putting fucking spirits on y'all. It's called soul tie. It's called spiritual connection. When y'all fucking, especially without no condom, that's all that is, a spiritual, uh, a spiritual fucking soul tie. And then y'all take on what, what if this motherfucker got depression and anxiety and got demons on him? You didn't, he didn't transfer it all to you. So women, be by your fucking self for a change. I'm not saying all women ain't by themselves. And don't like to be by themselves because I see some of y'all women talking shit in my comments. Talking about, I'm a woman, I like to be by myself. Am I speaking to you? We speak, we speaking about the women that don't like to be by themselves. But I'm getting off topic. But yeah, man, a damaged woman, y'all need to go fucking heal properly. And sucking dick and riding dick and fucking sitting on 12 inches of dildos and fucking having a thousand roses is not going to fix the problem. You know, all you're doing is busting up to make your, it's all, it's a temporary fulfillment. And then y'all go about y'all day. Sex don't mean that much to me. Don't be wrong, I love sex. But it don't mean that fucking much to me. That's why I could care less about uh, pussy and none of that shit. Because it don't run to me. I don't let pussy run me. And that's exactly what she's trying to do, bro. She's trying to run you. If she, if she can, if she can mentally abuse you and talk to you crazy, she need to get the fuck on. You need to tell her, like, you ain't got to tell her the way I said it. But you need to tell her, like, you need to get the fuck on. Because you ain't about to mentally fuck me up because I'm trying to help you. That's called leech, man. Not saying she ain't got her own job or her own place. Or not even just her own place. Maybe y'all live together. But she's going to suck from you. <laughs> you call it an energy vampire. Somebody said that in my comments, and I, uh, I like that. A motherfucker that fucking suck the shit out of you, out your happiness. Motherfucker, anything you want to do, you might want to go do something. No, don't go do that. Why are you doing that? That's fucking stupid. Don't do that stupid shit. Get away from that bitch. That bitch is going to suck the life out of you, bro. She's miserable inside. It's something within her she's not happy with. And at the end of the day, you didn't do nothing wrong if what you told me is true. Because at the end of the day, that woman need to be cherished to you, especially if you're a good man. It be women like that that run good men off. They do it to themselves. I get sometimes we ain't got guidance and we don't heal properly. And sometimes we do, you know, we make mistakes. I mean, you could try to be Dr. Phil and play her counselor. But I'm telling you, it's going to drain you. She might throw some shit in your face after you just fucking sat there and talked to her for two, three hours and you tried to help her out. My point is, bro, a damaged woman, you got to let her be, let her heal on her own. Some people can't be fixed, bro. Some people can't be helped. You could try, but if you done try it, you need to let her go. Because everybody ain't that fucking damaged out here. Some people done healed properly. Some people are loved right. Some, if a woman like, a damaged woman like that ain't got over her shit, she need to, you need to let her go. Because she's going to drag you along. And all you're going to be doing is trying to chase a fly on the wall. Because she's going to keep disrespecting you, uh, verbally abusing you. If it's physical, physically abusing you. And then you're, it's going to get so bad to the point where you end up staying in a relationship. You end up choking her ass. And then you're going to end And then the whole scenario is going to flip on you. Because you done spazzed out from putting up with it so long. I know. I done been there. You end up fucking snapping her neck and end up in jail. And that's one place you don't want to be when you got some shit going on. You got emotion. And then they want to play victim after they done did all the shit. My point is, women, y'all need to heal properly. And that's not going to go fucking suck fucking other men. That's not the way of fucking life. There's so many ways to heal. Meditate spiritually. Go fucking go get baptized or something. Go get your sins washed off you. Pray to God. Be by yourself for a while. Keep that down there clean before a goddamn change. Uh, get some herbs and soak in the goddamn bath in the bathtub and shit. Clean yourself. At the end of the motherfucking day, damaged women can damage good men. And for like I said, young brother, you need to uh, you need to get the fuck away from that. Especially if you done tried to help her, because all she's gonna do is drain you, bro, mentally, especially mentally. She's going to take, 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 take. You got to think, especially if you're a working man. You go to work, 
day in and day out, and you come home, you think you would want to come home to your woman, but if she's always on some toxic shit, you can't fix that, bro. Some people are not meant to be helped. Some people is unhelpable, especially if you done did everything you didn't possibly did, bro. And this can go for men, too. There's damaged men out there, too. Damaged people. And hurt people hurt people. Especially if you're not hurt and you got over what you got, I'm not saying you perfect. But if she fucked up like you say she is, you need to get away from her. Or she going to end up turning. What she's going to do is you're going to end up like her. And what I mean is all that shit she's doing is going to rub off on you. And you're going to start doing the same toxic shit. I'm telling you. I know. You're going to start cussing back at her, yelling to the top of your lungs. You're going to start drinking, smoking. You're going to start doing all that shit because you're trying to put up with somebody you love out the kindness of your heart. Sometimes that shit ain't worth it, bro. And like I said, if you, you can tell her, like, hey, you need to cut this out. This is not, you know, we ain't perfect couple. We ain't a perfect couple, but you talking to me crazy, is that shit got to get cut out. You demasculating, she basically demasculating you. She basically saying she wear the pants in a relationship. A woman do not wear no motherfucking pants. She do not have a dick and balls. She don't have a fucking beard on her face. She is a woman. It's one thing for her to talk and have her opinion. Like I said, she's supposed to be fem- feminine and soft woman. And at the end of the day, if she too aggressive, too, too aggressive, and she can't cut that shit out, let that bitch go, man. For real, man. There's somebody out here for everybody, and there's way sweeter women out there. I trust me. I done came across sweet ass women, and knowing me, I'll be like, uh, I'm too aggressive. I don't want to, you know what I'm saying? But I also learned not to be too aggressive. You would sound like a gentleman, and you sound like a good man. You need to let her go, bro. Somebody's going to appreciate that. Somebody's going to want that. It might not be tomorrow. It might not be a month from now. It might not be six. It might be two. It might be a year. Who knows? You got to be give it time and be patient. Because I'm telling you, she's going to drive you crazy up here, bro. You don't going to fuck around. And like I said, you gonna might have you might have went, took her shopping, took her out to eat. And after you done did all that, y'all had sex. Y'all done did all that, and then she goes right back to normal. You stupid motherfucker. You you know, wooty, wooty, woo. Talking to you crazy. Like I said, she demasculated you. And at the end of the day, it ain't like a woman that's having her period or she's snapping because she's pregnant. That's a little different. But if she's just always having a bitch fit for no fucking reason and always tripping about you doing some shit and you ain't cheating or doing nothing and you trying to respect her, you let her go, man. Because at the end of the day, she's going to suck the life out of you. And like I said, a damaged woman, boy, she had you motherfucking looking like Squidward when that motherfucker kept exploding. When you, y'all probably don't know, because some of y'all ain't watched, uh, I know, some of y'all probably ain't watched SpongeBob before, but the uh, fucking pie kept exploding on his face, and he was so fucking drank from that pie going in his face so many times, he looked it crazy. Look it, look it up. He looked it busted. You gonna look at you gonna look like you gonna look old and busted, and you probably in your twenties or thirties, old and busted. You gonna have gray hairs because this girl is stressing you the fuck out. Like I said, you can properly check her. Like, hey, you can cut that shit out, girl. I don't know what the fuck you got going on. We can talk about it, but at the end of the day, you're not about to fucking drain me. Uh, it ain't worth that, man. I learned that the I learned that a hard I learned that the hard way too. Motherfucker can mentally fucking drain you, man. Especially if you try everything you can. Especially if you doing everything you can, bro. Some people ain't worth saving, man. And at the end of the day, if you doing your part and she wanna buy by that, you know, you can give her some time. But if she don't abide by that, let that bra go. You can find you something way better than that, especially if you're a good looking man. Because women is dying to have a good man, bro. Trust me. Women is dying to have a good man. You see all this crazy shit on social media, don't let that shit deceive you. Them celebrities and shit, they live a whole totally different lifestyle from average people. A normal average woman is dying for a good man. And it will treat you right. It will cook for you. It will clean your clothes. It will make sure you're well fed. 
make sure she has somebody, you know, make sure you have somebody to talk to at night. Not everybody's perfect. You got to take that in consideration too, bro. But yeah, if my video cut out, don't forget to like and subscribe and share my video. I appreciate y'all, man. For real, much love. But uh, yeah, man, a damaged person or a damaged woman or a damaged man, they can drag you to motherfucking hell, boy. I'm telling you. You a high you at, boy, you'll be so stressed out, man. You'll be looking like the nun. That motherfucking scary movie. You'll be looking like a nun, boy. I'm telling you. Stress you the fuck out. Especially if you're doing all your part. And like I said, the damaged men and women need to heal, bro. And I said that in my other video. They take their baggage and take it to the next relationship. And then... Expect another motherfucker to put up with, especially if you had a weak, vulnerable state in your life. Sometimes we choose the wrong people when we fucking vulnerable and weak. Because we need some love. We we human beings, rather we strong, tough, beautiful, handsome, pretty as hell, whatever. We need love. So we always end up with the wrong people because of that spare moment in our, in our life. And that's why I say you got to heal right, man. You got to take the time to yourself. Be patient. Patience is key in life. Time continues to move very slowly. It can move fast, but it moves slowly. You know, life is not a rabbit race. I done said that, bro. Especially if you're a young man, man. Like I said, you could check her. You could check her and shit. Let her know, like, hey, I ain't playing. If you talk to me crazy one more time, you got to go. As a me, as a man, a girl keep talking to me crazy, like keep talking to me well, verbally abusing me, I'm going to tell you get the fuck out of my face because I'm going to put my hands on you. And I'm not saying I'm a woman abuser, but I'm saying that like a man is going to be a man. You want to act like a man, you know, a man going to have to, you're going to have to, I'm saying you're going to have to walk away. Because you're not about to talk to me motherfucking crazy, baby girl, you got to get the fuck out of my face. And if you put your hands on me, because I'm not going to put my hands on you because I don't want to go to jail. But if you put your hands on me, I'm going to call the police on me, on you like I like like uh, like you would do me. At the end of the day, you got to be on their energy. I know it sounds kind of toxic. But if she put her hands on you, bro, call the motherfucking police on her ass. I had a girl do that to me one time. She motherfucking slapped me right on my face. You know, I wanted to sling her little ass so bad. You know what I did? I called the police ASAP. For one, because I'm a black man. And they be thirsty. They be thirsty to lock you up. And they'll play victim so fast, too. That's what you call damage and toxic, boy. Especially if you're a good good man. You ain't got to put up with that shit. There's plenty, plenty of fish in the sea, bro. Plenty of fish in the sea. You ain't got to put up with that shit. But, man, don't forget to uh, like and share my video. I'm out, man. Peace.